Hello and welcome back to the channel. So this morning, Wayne Mardle tweeted, Incredibly, Mensah Sulevich and James Wade have never had a three-figure average in the World Championship match. Which got me thinking about James Wade and his ability to win matches with a low average. So I did some research to find out roughly where James Wade ranks in the averages department in the World Championships, and it turns out that he's 52nd in the averages for the World Championships. So there are 51 players who have averaged more over the course of their World Championship runs than James Wade, which is crazy to think because James is actually, he's the seventh most successful World Championship player in the PDC. So the question I wanna to answer today is how is James Wade so good when he averages so much lower than most of the other players? So to start off with, we're going to have a look at the 100 plus averages in World Championship matches, just so you can get a gauge on how often other players are doing it. So to start off with, Phil Taylor has had 56 100 plus averages in the World Championships. Michael Van Gogh has had 27. Rob Cross has had six, but he's only played nine matches. Gary Anderson's had 20. Peter Wright's had 10. Dave Chisholm's had three. Raymond Van Barneveld's had 14. Adrian Lewis has had 15. Michael Smith has had seven. Simon Whitlock's had six. And James Wade has had none. So as you can see from that, there are quite a few players who I would consider of James Wade's standard who have hit 100 plus averages and they've done it a few times as well. So the next thing I decided to have a look at is the checkout percentages. So as far as checkout percentages go, if you were to cap it at 250 dart attempts at a double, uh, then James Wade actually comes out second only behind Rob Cross. And this is where we start to see why James Wade, who is 52nd in the averages, is such a good world championship player. So why does a high checkout percentage allow you to have a lower average? Surely if you're checking out a lot faster, then your average would be higher. So he shouldn't be 52nd, he should be a lot higher. So why is that? So my theory behind this is that James is a very, very good finisher, but he's not a massive scorer. There are players that you know who are known for hitting big scores and James isn't one of them, but he hits a lot of finishes and he hits a lot of three dart finishes as well. And I think that's why his average is so much lower because he's using all three darts in his hand to finish the leg. How many times do you see James Wade with his last dart hitting double 10 or tops? He does it so often and he's so good at it. Whereas other players like Adrian Lewis or Gary Anderson are known for their big score hitting. So they're getting to a double much quicker and they're checking out much faster. So they're going out in 13 darts and 16 darts. Whereas James Wade is using all three of his darts to finish. And he's going out in 15 darts or 18 darts. And that's why James manages to win a lot of his games and have a lower average than his opponent. And that's just because even though he's finishing in the same amount of handfuls of darts, he's actually using more darts than his opponent. For example, if you go out in 13 darts or if you go out in 15 darts it doesn't matter to your opponent whatsoever because they're going to have the same amount of darts during that leg regardless of whether you go out in 13 or 15 and obviously a 13 dart is going to be a much higher average than a 15 dart. One thing stats can't show is just how clutch James Wade can be. How often do you see James hit finishes from 80 to 120 in three darts? He does it so often and that's why he's one of the best finishers in the world. So anyway, that's my thought process on why James Wade's never hit a 100 plus world championship average, but he's still one of the best players in the world. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, guys. Do you think James could have his first ever 100 plus world championship average this year? Also, could James win it? And please consider subscribing as well. It means a lot. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.